two chest x-rays of the same person are displayed. One was taken in the year 2020 and the second in 2022. Examine both the chest x-rays, list out the findings and figure out the likely reason for the temporal changes in the second x-ray. The presentation symptom in 2022 was unable to lie down on the left side. Lying down on the left side elicited severe bouts of cough. Let us examine the first chest x-ray. There is complete whiteout of the left hemithorax. The left diaphragm is elevated. The right lung is hyperinflated. The trachea is shifted to the left. If you note carefully, the rib spaces in the left side is slightly narrowed compared to the right. Now, let us take one single finding that is complete whiteout of the left hemithorax and see all possible causes. The common causes of whiteout of hemithorax include massive effusion, whole lung consolidation, total lung collapse. Rarer causes include pneumonectomy, pulmonary agenesis, hypoplasia and large pulmonary mass. To differentiate between the three common causes that is massive effusion, whole lung consolidation and total lung collapse, you need to see the position of the trachea and mediastinum and also the volume of the hemithorax. In, in massive effusion, the trachea is shifted to the opposite side and the volume is increased. In whole lung consolidation, trachea is central and there is no change in the volume. In total lung collapse, the trachea is shifted towards the ipsilateral side with reduction in volume. Thus, the position of the trachea and the volume of the hemithorax helps us in identifying the likely reason for the complete whiteout. Now, let's come back to our chest x-ray. There are obvious features of left-sided volume loss. That is, there, are, there is an elevated ipsilateral hemidiaphragm, rib crowding on the left side, tracheal shift to the left, right-sided compensatory hyperinflation. So, the possibility with unilateral whiteout with volume loss include the common cause is the total lung collapse, the rare cause is the left-sided pneumonectomy. Beyond this, we need a little history to differentiate between the two. Patient had a history of lung surgery and hence pneumonectomy is the likely diagnosis in this case. Post-pneumonectomy chest x-ray is quite unique and display changes over time. In the immediate post-op, the empty hemithorax is filled with air but nature never allows empty spaces so everything around moves to fill that space including contralateral lung the mediastinum ipsilateral diaphragm etc also a serous fluid starts filling the space at two rib spaces per day in the post-op period, you will have an air fluid level that keeps moving up towards the apex till the complete space is filled with fluid. So by six months post-op, we have an empty hemithorax filled with fluid as in the first chest x-ray. Now see the second chest x-ray. There is a straight line in the left mid zone indicating a air fluid level in the post pneumonectomy space. Above the straight line is the air which is black 
and below the straight line is the fluid which is radio opaque white in color the left diaphragm is elevated the new onset air fluid level after two years indicates air is leaking from the sutured left main bronchus stump it can be due to dehiscence of the suture or necrosis at the stump area because air is leaking we have an air fluid level this is one of the late complications of pneumonectomy further evaluation would include bronchoscopy to examine the left main bronchus stump for leak suture dehiscence or necrosis thank you